User Administration. Let's learn how to create and delete users and groups using the GUI and CLI methods. In any computer system, users interact with the system to accomplish their tasks by using the resources available in it. To accomplish these tasks, you need a user account to log into the system with the respective credentials. Every user who sets up an account has a valid name and password for authentication, followed by the user identity number assigned by the system, and for more than one person, we have the group identity number for authorization. Then, you have the home directory to store the user's profile, files, and other belongings, followed by a default shell. Users can be added to the system by two methods. One is the GUI, or the graphical method, and second is the CLI, or command line interface method. The minimum information required to perform this task are the name and password. If you want to customize any attribute, you can use either the GUI or CLI method, but the CLI method is preferable. The screenshot on the left depicts how to add a user 200 using GUI method, and the screenshot on the right shows how to add user 20,000 using CLI. Like addition, deletion of users can also be done using GUI and CLI methods. You can use either hash user del followed by username or hash user del minus r followed by username command to remove or delete users from the system. r refers to the home directory. Therefore, even the home directory is deleted along with the user details. When the ownership is required for more than one person, groups are used instead of users. Like user addition, groups can be added either by the GUI or CLI method. There are two types of groups, primary group and secondary group. When the user is created by default, then it is grouped under the primary group. The name of this primary group follows the name of the user. The command hash group add group name is used to add a group. If a user wants to join an already present group, then the user is grouped under the secondary group. The command hash user add minus g group name username is used to add a user to a secondary group. To delete a group, you can follow the GUI or CLI method. The command hash group del group name is used to delete the group. In this demo, we will see how to create and delete groups using both the GUI and CLI method. In Unix, we need groups to provide ownership of files for more than one user. For example, let's say there's a user called user100 and he or she created a file called demo1. If you want to provide ownership of this file to 10 other users, then you create a group, make the user the owner of this group, and add all the 10 users to this group. Next, whenever you create a user, there is one group that gets created automatically with the same name as the username. This is called the primary group. Imagine there are two users, user1 and user2 and corresponding to them, there are two groups, user1 group and user2 group. If user1 wants to become a member of the user2 group, then user2 group becomes the secondary group for user1. Therefore, there are two groups, one is the primary group and the other is the secondary group. To see the group file of user400, type in the command grep user400 slash etc slash group. This group is called the primary group. To check the group ID, type in the command ID minus A user 400. You can see that the group ID is 1003. It is called the GID number. Use the command cat slash etc slash group to list the available groups. You have user 200, user 300, user 400. To make user 400 join user 200 group, enter the command user mod minus capital G, which stands for the secondary group. Give the name as user 200 and the assignee is user 400. Now, when you check the groups for the user by typing the command id minus a user 400, you have two groups, one is user 400, the primary group, and second is user 200, the secondary group. 
this was a small demonstration of the theory seen earlier. Next, you can create groups by two methods. One is the graphical method, where you click on Show Applications and select Users. Here, when you select Manage Groups, you get the list of all the available groups. Click on Add to create a new group. Authenticate yourself by entering the password. Give the group name as Ubuntu Demo. The group ID is created automatically as 1004. You select the members who can be a part of this new group by checking the check box. For now, we will not include anyone and click on OK. You get an invalid message as the name starts with uppercase. Change it to lowercase and click OK. Now, when you scroll from the available list, you can see the created group. You can also check the properties by selecting the group and clicking on Properties option. To verify this, type the command cat slash etc slash group. You can see the created group at the end. Next, you can create a group using the command line as well. Type in the command group add and name as Ubuntu Demo-1. Verify this by entering the same cat command. You can see that Ubuntu Demo-1-1005. This is how you create groups using the graphical and command line methods. Next, we will see how to delete a group per user. You can delete a group either by GUI or CLI method. For the GUI method, click on Show Applications and select Users. You get the Users Settings window. Click on Manage Groups. You get the list of available groups. For our example, we will delete the group Ubuntu Demo. Navigate through the groups. Select the group to be deleted and click on Delete. Enter the password and click on Authenticate. You will be asked for a confirmation. Select Delete. Now the group is deleted. This is how you can delete a group in graphical mode. The second method is using the command line. You can use the command group del followed by the group name Ubuntu Demo-1. Now, if you verify this using the command cat slash etc slash group, the two deleted groups are not appearing in the list. Similarly, in order to delete users, you can go back to the user settings. You have the list of all users. Select one user, say user 400. Select that user and click on delete option. Enter the password and click on authenticate. You will get a confirmation message to delete the home folder. The home folder for this user is slash home slash user 400. Click on delete files option. Now, the deleted username is not listed in this section. Close the window. You can see the user information using the command cat slash etc slash password. The user 400 is not present anymore. To delete a user from the command line, use the command user del. And minus "-r", is used to delete the home directory, followed by the username. If you don't use minus "-r", the user will only be deleted from the password file, and his home directory remains, as is. When you execute, everything is removed. Again, when you verify using the cat command. 
you see that user 300 is not there anymore. You can also verify using the cat slash etc shadow file command and see that only user 200 is present. This is how you delete groups and users using the GUI and CLI methods.